as our goal is to derive the expected value of beta hat and show that it's equal to beta and the variance of beta hat and show that it's equal to sigma squared hat times x transpose x inverse, let's get started and derive the expected value of beta hat. Beta hat is equal to x transpose x inverse times x transpose y. So the expected value of beta hat is equal to the expected value of x transpose x inverse times x transpose y. And it's important to note that this whole part over here, x transpose x inverse times x transpose, this is non-stochastic. It's not random at all. It's, these are all just constant known values that are multiplied by, by each other. So it's not random. So that means we can bring it outside of the expectation operator. So it becomes x transpose x inverse times x transpose multiplied by the expected value of y. Simple linear regression model formulation, y is equal to x beta plus epsilon. So the expected value of y is equal to the expected value of x times beta plus epsilon. So it is equal to the expected value of x beta plus the expected value of epsilon. And from assumption number one over here at the top, we know that the expected value of epsilon is just a zero vector, so it's zero. So we know that the expected value of y is thus going to be equal to the expected value of x beta. And we can say this because of assumption number one. So this leaves us with the expected value of beta is equal to x transpose x inverse times x transpose and we're plugging in now the expected value of y, which is x beta. So we have x transpose x inverse times x transpose x multiplied by beta. And if we notice over here, if we let a be equal to x transpose x, we have a inverse times a over here because we have the inverse of a here. So A inverse times A is always equal to an identity matrix. So it's an identity matrix. So we're left with the expected value of beta hat is equal to an identity matrix times beta and anything times an identity matrix is simply going to be beta. So here we have shown that via assumption number one that the expected value of the error terms is always equal to zero and using the formulation of the simple linear regression model, we've shown that the expected value of beta hat is equal to beta. Now what we are going to attempt to show is that the variance of beta hat is equal to sigma squared hat times x transpose x inverse. And it's worth noting and mentioning that sigma squared hat is an estimator of sigma squared. And the reason we need an estimator is because these epsilon i's are unobservable. So we needed to construct an estimator to allow us to actually go and observe their effects and their results. Let's get started again. The variance of beta hat is going to be the variance of x transpose x inverse times x transpose y. And to make our life simpler, let b be equal to x transpose x inverse times x transpose. This is just b, not beta, just b. So we let b be equal to x transpose x inverse times x transpose. We are dealing with the variance of b times y. And this is simply going to be b times the variance of y times b transpose. Now, we know that the variance of y is the variance of x beta plus epsilon. And again, notice over here, x times the matrix, x times the matrix beta, the vector beta, this is a constant, this is not random. So we can ignore it in the variance term. So we're only interested in the variance of the term epsilon, the vector epsilon. And we've already shown before using all of the assumptions one through three, 
or in particular two through three, that the variance of epsilon is sigma squared times i. Sigma squared times i. So the variance of epsilon is equal to sigma squared times i. So the variance of beta hat is equal to b times sigma squared times an identity matrix multiplied by b transpose. And let's go plug in the value for b again. So we have x transpose x inverse times x transpose multiplied by sigma squared i times the transpose of x transpose x inverse times x transpose. If we notice with the transpose, when we're doing the transpose of any ma matrix or any products or so, we flip the order. So the transpose of x transpose x inverse times x transpose is x times x transpose x inverse is transpose. But there's something very important about x transpose x inverse. It is a symmetrical matrix. It is symmetrical matrix. So its transpose is just itself. So you can simply write it as it's going to be x transpose x inverse times x transpose multiplied by some constant value sigma squared. And then we're left with x times x transpose x inverse. Now, notice something else as well. Sigma squared is just a constant. It's the variance of the error terms. So it's just the variance of any epsilon i. So because it's just some scalar, we can bring it out, bring it out all the way over here. So it's just sigma squared times, then we're left with x transpose x inverse times x transpose x. And over here we have x transpose x inverse as well. And notice over here, we've got an inverse of something multiplied by that same thing. So we have, let's say, A inverse times A. So we know this has to just be an identity matrix. So we're left with sigma squared times an identity matrix times x transpose x inverse. And we're just left with sigma squared times x transpose x inverse. As easy as that to show that the variance of beta hat is equal to sigma squared times x transpose x inverse. Now, when you actually have to go about doing calculations of the variance, then we will simply replace the, the sigma squared by sigma squared hat. Variance of beta hat is going to be the square of sigma hat. So sigma hat squared times x transpose x inverse, because we can't actually figure out what this value of sigma is, we can only get the estimator of it, which is sigma squared hat. So that's how we derive the expected value of beta hat and the variance of beta hat for the OLS estimators in the matrix form of the simple linear regression model. Thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video and found the content helpful, give me a like and comment if you want me to cover any other parts of the simple linear regression model in greater detail. Poor Commander out.